guys mark sanchez here and you guys just saw 727 pounds 330 kilos on the squats we did that from four sets of two yesterday um honestly looking back on it i haven't straight bar squatted um shoot since the ghost clash two which is technically almost a year year ago um and i wasn't necessarily i was a little anxious about it um not gonna lie uh, mainly, not necessarily the weight, uh, but just balancing the straight bar on my back again. Um, as you've seen in my training, I've been doing SSB squats. I've been doing um, duffalo bar squats. And quite frankly, I wasn't necessarily worried about bicep tendonitis, which I usually have uh, squatting. Uh, but I was more worried about just what it felt like on my back. Um, there's so much support when it comes to an SSB or a duffalo bar squat that your CNS kind of handles it differently. And so like, even for me today, uh, today is Tuesday and this is my third day training straight. Um, I trained on Sunday, I uh, hit the 325 pound log, which guess what? We're doing it again. Um, and so a lot of it has really been um, pretty taxing on my CNS. Uh, I'm going out of town this weekend, so I want to kind of get this video out. But on top of that too, like I said, it's just been, um, enjoying the process, trying to get my work capacity in, trying to make sure that I'm hitting all my, my, my reps. And when it came to squat, um, I work in percentages. And so for 75%, I was estimating my squat to be around 850 to 881, so 400 kilos or so. Uh, so 75% of that gave me 727 to 749. Um, and so realistically, I really wanted to come in. I had the mindset of coming in at seven at 749 uh, for squats for four sets of two, but as I was driving to the gym, I don't know, something kind of took over. Maybe it was nerves, maybe it was anxiety or whatever it may be, but I just kind of felt um, like a weight on my shoulders. I kind of felt anxious, and then all of a sudden I started feeling really, really tired. Um, and so I decided to kind of cut it short and get my volume in, because the last thing that I wanted to do was put 749 on the bar and all of a sudden start missing reps. Uh, right now in my prep, um, it's more important that I'm hitting my volume than I'm hitting my numbers. Uh, I'm sorry, hitting my reps than I'm hitting my weights. Uh, mainly because at the end of the day, I'm already pretty static, statically strong. Um, so the main focus really needs to be getting my work capacity up, getting my volume up. Um, I'm sitting at around 4,000 calories a day. And that's supposed to be somewhat of a deficit for me. I'm really at like 36, um, but 36 to 4,000. <laughs> um, so realistically, I'm in a deficit. My goal is to try and get to about 295 to 300 pounds. I'm about... Eight weeks out from the Olympic City Pro in uh, March 23rd here in Colorado Springs. Uh, that'll be my season opener for the year. Um, kind of just doing it as a warm up. My coach is doing it. I have some friends who are also doing the show. Uh, so I kind of wanted to show face at a local show here um, and hopefully put on a great show. <laughs> Um, and then after that, my main focus and really where my mind is at now is, is the Rainier Classic in Tacoma, Washington. That's May 4th and the 5th. Um, that's really where um, 
I have a lot of my attention to. That's where I'm really being conscious about the events. And, and when I have those event days for the Rainier Classic, that's exactly where I'm kind of focusing on. Um, and so with that being said, Rainier Classic has a max squad event for the Pro-Am men. And uh, that's why I am planning uh, to really start utilizing the straight bar. Um, truthfully, becoming a strongman, uh, I really was hoping to kind of just kiss the straight bar squad away. Um, but when Rainier released the events, um, excitingly enough, it sparked a, lot, a fire in me. Um, I've kind of been talking to a few people about how I could sit here and want a 900 plus squad or a thousand plus squad or a thousand kilo total, etc. Uh, nothing really sparked that powerlifting fire. Uh, and then for some reason, Rainier released a max squad event and all of a sudden it just lighted a torch. It, it lit that fire in me. Um, but the big thing that I'm trying to keep mental note of is it is a strongman show and it's not a powerlifting show. Um, I have high and full faith that I will walk into the Rainier Classic and open with people third, people's third attempts. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that my opener will, will already win the show. Um, so with that, we'll win the event at least. Um, I plan on opening around 8.30 to 8.15. Um, but realistically, like I said, time will tell. Um, I need to build that work capacity again, but I also need to be consistent. Um, yesterday, they looked phenomenal, 727 for four sets of two. I had no signs of slowing down. Everything felt really easy. Only thing I'm gonna have to really get used to again is walking out my squat. Um, so for the Rainier Classic, you have to walk out your squat. There's no suits, no wraps. It is strictly a raw squat to powerlifting standards. And maybe depth is going to be questionable for a lot of these guys, but I'm still one of the top squatters in the world in accordance with open powerlifting. So wish you guys luck, but nobody's touching me on squats. That's my show. That's my event. And I'm going to the Rainer Classic with the mentality that I'm going to absolutely dominate that event and no one's going to stop me. Today, we are doing log. I'm going to go ahead and get started uh, warming up here. Um, we are in my home gym. I'm absolutely loving this place. The vibe is great. I got my lighting situation set up. I got my heater in here set up. We're going to go ahead and hit some log. Uh, and then I have some shoulder accessories. But I'll go ahead and talk to you guys again after log. read my program because uh, I was kind of thinking man I I know I did it on Sunday and it's supposed to be on Friday um, but I just did events on Sunday which is two days ago um, and one of them was uh, log clean and press for about 90 85 percent etc um, so anyways I'm reading my program and I missed the critical work log standing strict press so I have to change up my mindset for this set here um, but let's see I got a, uh, a one by two at 80% of my one rep max and then two sets of M reps at 90% of my one rep max I don't really know what my one rep max strict overhead presses especially in the log so this is 205, what I'm probably going to say is, let's do 325, minus 20%, 260. 
I don't think I can do that for two. Huh. So we're gonna go ahead and add 40 pounds to this log, put it at 245. Um, the goal will be to clean and then do a double strict press. We'll see. <laughs> I've never done that before. Well, I've never done, I've never maxed out on strict overhead press, I guess. So I'm kind of guessing it's in the range between 315 and 330, given that I have a 300 and, I don't remember, 350 pound overhead press or so. Um, so, let's go with 260. Yeah, I like the sound 260. <laughs> Mindset of strict pressing today, nor did I come in the mindset of strict pressing almost 300 pounds, which, spoiler alert, we're about to go do. So now we have a set of MRAP at 90%. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up 300 pounds. Goal is uh, two to three, four would be phenomenal. Um, but quite honestly, I'm pretty confident now. I feel pretty good about this. So 300 pounds, strict press. It's PR. Well, um, that was a PR. Uh, I've never done that before, I don't think. But that was nuts. <laughs> 300 pounds strict on a log. And I'll be honest, I could have um, maybe uh, saved some energy bringing it back down to my chest, but I really wanted to stabilize it so it didn't throw me off balance. And so I probably could have squeezed out another a fourth. Um, realistically, I don't want to be the person who's like, oh yeah, I could have done this, but I think how I feel right now and how I felt during the set, I think I probably could have squeezed 310 for about three, um, which is honestly, it makes me super happy. Uh, so I'm, I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, so basically what I have now is another AMRAP at 80%. And because of how that felt compared to my 280 pound double, uh, I'm probably gonna just drop down to 290 and see how that feels there. Um, phenomenal training session going on right now. I've been pretty stoked about this. It's like 25 degrees here in Colorado. I have a patio heater up um, and I'm training in my garage by myself. Um, and this has been a super sweet session. So I'm pretty hyped about this. Um, we're gonna go ahead and strip the plates to 290 and then hit another AMRAP. I'm gonna go ahead and probably wrap up this video here. Uh, tomorrow I got some axle bar deadlifts. 
Um, nothing too crazy for tomorrow. Like I said, I have a kind of a condensed week. Uh, my One of my best friends is getting married, so we're uh, heading out of the country uh, for a bachelor party. And um, man, let me tell you, today was an absolute hype fest. Like I said, I'm here by myself. It's like 25 degrees outside here in Colorado. Uh, me and the log and the iron and the... We did some phenomenal things today. It was pretty sweet. Um, if you guys didn't know already, this is my brand new Slater Lock. Um, I ordered it back in June. It was supposed to come for my birthday in October, uh, but they had some manufacturing issues and, and they were super communicative the entire time. Uh, Steve's son, Landon, was emailing me, pretty much giving me updates constantly, sending me photos and stuff like that. Um, and it, <laughs> let me tell you, it was a hard build to swallow, but it was probably one of, the, by far, the best things I've ever paid for. Um, like the circus dumbbell, I love that. It's probably my second piece of equipment that I absolutely love. Um, and I love using it and stuff like that. But like, this is by far now my centerpiece of my garage gym. Um, I absolutely love it. My only regret is I kind of wish I got a heavier one. Um, but all in all, this is probably by far the most fun I've had pressing. Um, as you guys have kind of known from my strength stats, I've never really been a big presser. Um, and I'm honestly starting to fall in love with the process. I've never done anything like that before, a 300 pound overhead press. So honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um, I've done a 300 pound overhead press. Let me, let, me, let me reiterate that. But I've never done anything like that strict. Um, nor have I ever kind of come into an overhead press session like excited, if that kind of makes sense. So. Um, that's another thing that I'm kind of starting to celebrate is like, I really love my squat days. I really love my deadlift days. Um, and just kind of as I am as an athlete, like I've really not been a biggest fan of overhead pressing or bench pressing or anything like that. And it kind of shows, but, um, all in all, I'm super happy with that. 300 pounds for three on a strict log cleaning press. And then freaking 295 for two right afterwards. That's absolutely nuts. Um, and today was an absolute dub. I feel internally I could have gone heavier. Honestly, I probably would have said 90% was 310 to 315 pounds. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm super proud of that and how far my overhead press has come. Um, sometimes I sit there and reminisce and think about how like, I couldn't even bench press like 225 pounds about five years ago. I think about some of those sessions that, that lead me to where I am now. and. And um, I think it's so easy for everybody to kind of see athletes kind of just rise um, at the blink of an eye, but a lot of times you guys really weren't there for the beginning. So it's, it's fun to kind of sit there and really celebrate those things that you accomplish. And, and who knows, maybe in four months, I'll be celebrating a, a 330 pound strict press PR, or maybe it's a 350 pound strict press PR. Maybe, who knows, my, my truthfully my goal for the end of this year is to log press 400 pounds. Um, I want to really break down that barrier of being able to press 400 overhead. Um, and I think it's there. I, I confidently think that it's there. Uh, I just got to keep continuing to put in the work and then um, continue to stay healthy. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I hope you guys enjoyed my new Slater log as much as I have. Uh, it's got my slogan on the other side of it as well. Actually, it's got my slogan right here, Fight Like Hell. It's uh, something that I've been saying since I was in the service. Um, but yeah, if there's anything else that you guys want to see, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed.